Hey, um, has anybody seen my phone? Is my phone anywhere out there, Ron? By you? No, Sheila. You. What? What are you? What are you coming with me, Sheila? What is the? Who took apart my phone? Guys, come on. Enough with the pranks. I got a job to do out here. Why did you guys take? I mean, yeah, it looks cool. It's the Cadrix frame. Yeah, it's sick, and the link is down below. Okay, this is actually really cool. Uh, a sub reached out to me. It was like, hey, I started this company, and I disassemble old iPhones to recycle them, and I make art out of them. And I was like, y th yes. Like, I don't say yes to sponsorships that quick, but I replied like instantly because I think this is a, a brilliant idea. So Cadrix Frame, I got the link down below. I don't know what else to tell you other than like, if there's a tech person in your life, this is what you're getting them for their present this year. I found my phone right here. Listen, we got some great stuff today to talk about. From iOS 15, Apple has leaked the naming. They are on a roll with just like, we're gonna tell everybody everything we're up to. It's a bad news for AirPods 3, and Apple is working on an Explore rugged version of the Apple Watch, which I am uh, a little bit uh, zoinked out about, all right? If you guys are excited for this one though, drop a like down below. And of course, hit that subscribe button as well down below and tap that bell for notifications. So you subscribe to the channel, you're up to date on the latest Apple news, and you're never missing a beat. We got events coming up. We got videos happening. It's going to be busy season in no time. And where I want to start today is with AirPods 3, um, a product that you and I are looking forward to, a product that has leaked extensively, one of the, the crazier Apple leaks to the point where we've seen more physical pictures of this product than actual renders. It got so crazy to the point where everyone was believing they were just around the corner because, you know, like usually when a product leaks like crazy, it generally comes out, but that's just not the case for AirPods anymore. Not only have Guo Minchi and Digitimes, who said they were coming April, May, shifted to sometime in Q3, so like during the summer into the fall of 2021, but now John Prosser on the Genius Bar podcast, hey, that's the podcast that I do with him. We dropped an exclusive on this week's episode that he has heard from his greatest source. Media websites, feel free to not report this. I feel like I shouldn't be put on any websites until my eyebrows grow back. <sighs> Uh, <laughs> but uh, from the good source, like the good good, the good good. Oh, the good good, like the yeah, when you, the good good <laughs> when you nickname for him. The good good. Uh, he says no, no AirPods. No. Which brings us to three separate sources that have now switched the narrative overnight on AirPods 3 to say that they are not coming now. So I wouldn't be expecting AirPods 3 anytime soon if I were you. I don't think they're coming until the summer at the earliest, but it doesn't take away the pain. And speaking about the time, I don't, Apple Watch, Explorer edition. Undora, let's go get him. Oh no, it's the fox that says, it's Swiper. Watch out, it's Swiper. Let's get Swiper. You know, sometimes even though things are rumors, meaning they're from a source with some credibility, I just don't want to believe them because it just sounds so out there. See, the thing is, if this is from like anybody else, I don't think I'd be talking about it. But this rumor about the Apple Watch Explorer edition comes courtesy of Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, who is 90 percent accurate. Essentially this year or next year, it's going to come in 2021 or 2022. The date is not 100% final just yet. Apple is working on a rugged version of the Apple Watch. So you know right now they have the aluminum, the stainless steel, the titanium. They've got a number of different finishes, but what they don't have is something like a G-Shock. You know, really tough, super resilient, something that's like never going to break even if you just smash it into something. I mean, I don't know about you guys. I've definitely scratched up my screen quite a bit, probably because I go with the cheapest watch every year, which has a less resilient screen than something like the stainless steel model. But overall, like the Apple Watch, I feel like is pretty tough. And for those people that want extra protection, like I guess you could be that person. You were probably leashed as a kid that would put a case on your watch. I don't know. I mean, I'm not judging, but like, do you really need a watch case? I, I'm just saying. Because that is essentially what German describes. It's something that is more impact resistant, that's made of like a rubberized material that's gonna be better for extreme athletes or surfers or divers or people doing extreme sports. And uh, as an extreme athlete myself, you know, I hit the gym a couple times a week. You might see me riding around my bike in STL. Uh, I don't really get this product at all. Like when Apple makes products, they make it for the masses. Whether they admit it or not, they want everyone to have an Apple Watch. They want everyone to have an iPhone. They want everyone to have a Mac. This is like the way they design their products. They're specialized, but they also market them to everyone. So it just doesn't make sense that Apple's like, oh, and then there's this really small portion of the population that is extreme athletes. Yeah, we're gonna make a watch just for them. Unless, of course, 
this would be a stunt for publicity. I mean, of all Apple's products of all time, where have we seen the biggest pub stunt from Apple? It's with the gold Apple Watch. You remember how nobody bought it? Yet every single person was, Dude, is there really a gold Apple Watch? And then you Google it, it's like, oh, LeBron James got the gold Apple Watch. What, Apple makes watches now? And then you look it up and then you buy one. And then 10 years later, you're an Apple YouTuber like me. Listen, I'm just saying on the Apple Watch before, Apple has focused on a super specific niche with no extra functionality but the casing to promote a product. And like with the Apple Watch getting pretty up there and it seems like Apple is low key running out of ideas, how do you market it to more people? Just say, well, we have the same watch that's a little bit faster with another health feature, but we also have this rugged version. And that's the one we're putting in all of our ads to show how tough it is. Cheaper feeling, but more rugged, uh, it doesn't add up. Doesn't make sense does not compute in my head personally. And that leads us into the leaks that Apple have been doing lately, because I'm just convinced at this point that everything is intentional. Just to catch you up, in the past two weeks alone, 9to5Mac has found references to two unreleased iMacs, that's one, two different models in the software. The A14X chip, which is based off of the M1 and is going to be in the new iPad Pro that's just around the corner. More evidence of an Apple TV redesigned remote. And now that they say they looked into a WebKit repository, which is like a place people go to grab code and stuff. And they have found an Apple employee made reference to iOS 15 and Mac OS 12, straight up, no cap, no debate. How do we know this? Because there's a freaking screenshot of it. Or so everybody's saying, this isn't confirmed. Apple would never leak. I've seen your comments and you can't fight F -f 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 facts bro tendo now listen this being said this is just the names in the code apple could call it something else marketing wise and like it's not exactly a surprise but it's always exciting to see a little tidbit slide in somewhere and it does confirm that like for mac os it's not gonna be like point updates anymore apple is in mac os 11 right now with big sur next year it's gonna be mac os 12 not mac os 11.1 like they used to historically do for like mac os 10 updates i wish that this told us about some features for either because like you remember last year when like the beta of iOS 14 leaked and a bunch of people got their hands on it 9 to 5 Mac was putting out stories like each and every day that has not happened this year there's essentially been no rumors from credible sources yet other than now the naming from Apple and the device compatibility from a couple of sites aside from that we we don't know anything about the feature set of iOS 15 yet if you see rumors floating around they're from Twitter leakers they're not credible that's why I'm not reporting on them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. If you did, drop a like down below. And of course, hit subscribe so you always stay updated on the latest Apple news you like seeing me. If you don't, hit that like, the dislike button. If you don't like me, hit the like button if you do. Or don't do anything. Just be a passive viewer. Don't help me with the algorithm. That's fine too. I still love you for watching. All right, hope you guys are doing well. I will see you in my next video. Peace.